Health insurance board, um, I just put this on here because we passed a resolution in December and um, we um, still have some spots and they just wanted to be out there and think about it, but I would, I would like to open no objection to this to February as well. But it just so, so much little time between Christmas and New Year's and everything um, that you can think about this, but I wanted to get this on the radar um, for February, so just, there's two other spots. So. And, and then we, we uh, defer this to the okay. Okay, so self insurance board co terminus. Co terminus, that means it's basically based on your commission sheet. So when the commissioners are no longer um, elected, they are no longer on the board. It's for elected officials only. Okay, so that's all that says is these people that are on there are two spots. It ends when they're uh, their term technically ends, which is oh. August 2026. Anybody on this board this term? Nobody. This was a this is a resolution we passed in December, where we took two boards that were existing and brought it back to what's called the self insurance board, which is the board that it did exist a long time ago, okay. and it kind of got broken up into two separate boards. Uh, Rumor is sort of for nefarious purposes to kind of give friends and family discounts to insurance providers and, and people to do stuff. But this is a way of bringing this back under one umbrella. We're, we're rewriting the ship and getting back to where it used to be. And so that this could be a, a better managed and accountable process and a board for this process. And so that was uh, Chairman Hyde brought this resolution forward in the legislative, and we brought this forward in the full commission in December, and it passed, I believe, unanimously. I'm, okay. I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't understand because I was kind of out of the loop. Well, that's why I'm just, I don't mind explaining that. So catching you up, that's what we did in December okay. with that. Um, but it was um, combined as two boards. And so because of that, the way the resolution was written, it adds two more commissioner spots that didn't exist. So it's just non-existent spots. And part of the resolution was carrying over the three existing members to be on this as well. And that's why Commissioner Hyde, Commissioner Boyd, and Commissioner Brown are on this list, because the resolution said to push them forward. Matt, Matt, so the two open spots would be for two people that they wanted to be on there, they could request? Correct. Okay. So that's going to have this on our radar for us.